Good morning, everybody. Welcome to class. I hope you guys had a great night last night. Um, today, we are going to be working on simplifying proper fractions, um, bringing them down to their lowest term. Now, this isn't something we haven't done before, so it should come pretty quick to you. But I thought it would be a good refresher course to work on today. So, I left uh, some materials that you need to get, which is the worksheet as well as a uh, uh, multiplication table. And I asked you yesterday to make sure that you had those printed out ready to go. So, if you don't have them, I'm going to give you a few seconds. You can get them out and uh, go from there. Now, here's something kind of neat. If you don't have it and you don't want me to keep going, just hit pause on the button, man. It's a video. It's not like it's really live. Although I'm trying to pretend like it is because it's kind of fun. Okay, I'm back from being paused. Thank you very much for getting all of your stuff. So let's get started right away. Good morning, Shay. How are you? I'm doing pretty good too. Let's try the first one, okay? I know you can do this, so let's get ready. All right, let's see what we can do here. 14 over 21. Well, let's start with our cake and put our candles up, 14 and 21. So what can go into 14 and into 21? Well, if you know your math facts, we can quickly come up with that. Um, however, if you don't know your math facts, what you could do is you can use a um, multiplication table. But let's go ahead, let's see what we can do. What can we put in? Can we put a one into each? Yep. Can we do a two in each? Well, this one's even, this one's not, so the answer is no. Can we divide it by three? If we can divide it by three, then the digits added to each other should be divisible by three. So we have four plus one is five. Is five divisible by three? No. Okay, so we know it's not three. We know it's not four. We know it's not five because it doesn't end with a five or a zero. Can we do a six? Six times two is 12. Six times three is 18. So we know that's not true. So let's try seven. Seven times two is 14. That works. And seven times three is 21. So let's try that. Seven. And seven into 14 is two. And seven into 21 is three. So it can't go any lower. So your answer is two over three. Good job. All right, the next one we're gonna try it. And now let you, uh, one of you try it. Hey, Seton, good morning. You wanna try the next question? Let's do it together. Okay, what's the first thing that we need to do? Yep, we need to build the first layer of the cake and we need to put the candles up. First candle is 12, second candle is 21. So we look at this and we say, can, can two go into these? Well, 12, you're right. 12 is an even number. Two can go into 12. But can two go into 21? No, you're right, because 21 is an odd number. So we can try it with three. And let's remember that if something is divisible by three, the digits of a number added up should be divisible by three. So let's take a look. 1 plus 2 is 3, so that's divisible by 3. And 2 plus 1 is 3, that's divisible by 3. So let's try the number 3. We're going to divide 12 by 3, which gives me what? Yep, 4. And 21 divided by 3. How many times does 3 go into 21? No. Nope. Try again, 21 divided by three. 21 divided by three is seven. So now we're left with a, a four and a seven and they cannot, the four can be divisible by two, but the seven cannot. 
right? What you do with one number, you have to do with the other number. So what are you left with? Four and a seven, yep. Yeah. Four sevenths, four sevenths. Good job. All right, we're gonna try the next one here. Chloe, 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 are you ready? All right, let's try it again. Or not again, but let's try a different one. 12 over 18. All right, what's the first thing that we have to do? Yep, build the first layer of cake. What goes on top of the cake? Candles. Yeah, I know it's candles. That's what I keep telling you guys. But what is the candle? Yep, 12 is a candle. And 18 is a candle. Now, what do we do? We can divide it, yep. Okay, 12 is an even number, 18 is an even number. They're both divisible by two. We could do two, but let's see if they both can be divisible by three. Again, for a number to be divisible by three, the digits added up of that number should be divisible by three, then the number. So, yep. No, you don't add the 12 and the 18 together. You add the one and the two, because that's one number here. So what's one plus two, right? One plus two is three. Is three divisible by three? Yep. Okay, so 12 is divisible by three. What about 18? Eight and one is nine. Nine is divisible by three, yep. So we can do three. We can do three, let's go ahead and do three. How many times does three go into 12? No, that would be nine. Yep, four. Four times three is 12. What about the 18? Three times what? Come on. Three times what? Three, count them out. No, you're just guessing. Let's count them out together. Three, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, six. Yep. So that you put the six here, because eighteen divided by three is six. All right. Can we bring down the four and the six? Can we reduce those anymore? You're right, they are even numbers. So I guess we can do that. And we divide it by two. So four divided by two is what? Two. Six divided by two? Correct, three. So what, can you divide two and three by something or are they the lowest you can go? Yeah, they are the lowest. So your answer would be two over three. Right there, two over three. Good job. Hey, Soze, how are you? Guess what? You get the next question. All right, here's a good one. I like this one. Five over 50. Five fiftieths. Okay, first we need, yep, you're right. Put the cake down, the first layer. Five is the first candle. 50 is the second candle. Now, can we... Divide these by the same number. I got a five and I got a 50. If something is divisible by five, then the number needs to end in a five or in a zero. Does this end in a five? Yeah. Does this 50 end in a zero? Yep. So we know that five and 50 can be divided by five. So let's do that. Five divided by five, one. 50 divided by five, five times what would be 50 in another word? Yep, five times 10. And now I got, I've got the lowest term. I have a, five, a one and a 10. So your answer to the 550 at its simplest and lowest term would be one tenth. Very good. Morning, Haley. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good, thank you. Yep. Yep, it's your turn. Let's try the next question. 30 over 72. All right, so I started with the 30 over 72. And we put the candles on, 30 and the 72. 
And then I decided, let's try it with the two. So we went 30 divided by two equals 18. I'm sorry, 15, that's 15. And then we said 72 divided by two, and that would be 36. So now let's take a look. We have a 15 and a 36. Are they divided, divide, divisible by two? No, you're right, because the 15 is not an even number. So how would we know what to divide this by? Or would 15 over 36 be the answer? Oh, that's a great idea. So let's try it divided by three. So what's the rule? If a number is divisible by three, then the two num digits in a number added together should be divisible by three. So let's try this. Five and one is six. Is six divisible by three? Yes. How about six plus three? Six, seven, eight, nine. Is nine divisible by three? Yep. So we can divide it by three. How many times does three go into 15? Well, you could look at your multiplication chart. You could do it through your mental math, or you can just do it easy like this. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. That's five. Three goes into 15 five times. Now, how many times does three go into 36? Think about it. 36 divided by three. It's easy to see. Three divided by three would be one. Six divided by two would be two. So I have a five and I have a 12. Are either one of these divisible by a, a common number? No. So your answer is five over 12. How do I know that? Well, what I did was I, I looked, I, I divided these by two and I came up with two numbers. Then I divided those two numbers by three and I came up with five twelfths. I know that five and 12 cannot be divisible by five or 10 because this number does not end in a zero or five. I also know that this is not divisible by an even number, which is two, because five is an odd number. I know it's not divisible by four, because, well, five divided by four, that can't work. But 12 divided by four is three, so that could, no, you're right. They both have to be divisible by the same number. And these are not. So your final answer is five that looks like a two, five twelfths. That's better. You see that? Five over twelve. All right, good one. Let's try another one. Good morning. How you doing? Ryan, 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 Ryan. Are you ready for the next one? It's not that difficult. You can do it. It's four over 40, Ryan. Let's work it out together. All right. What's the first step? Yep. Put our first layer of cake. Second step, candles, yep. The four candle and the 40 candle, yep. Now, can we divide them by a common number? Let's see. Four is even, 40 is even. So we could do definitely by two, but let's take a closer look. Okay, I want you to look at these numbers. You have a four and you have a 40. Now let's think about the powers of 10. Four times 10 is 40. Okay. All right. What can you divide four by? You can do it by two. So four divided by two is two, and 40 divided by two is 20. 
So then we'd have two and a 20 and we'd have to build another row. But how can we make this cake with just one row? Or one layer of cake? Yep, let's divide it by four. Let's see what happens. Four divided by four is one. 40 divided by four is 10. So I have one and 10. Can I divide them by anything else? No. So your answer is one over what? Look here. Yep, 110. Good job. We're getting around these pretty good. Um, has anybody seen Aiden? I haven't seen him in a while. Is he sick? I don't know. Hey, Aiden, if you're out there, I need you to come on. We got work to do. All right, Bailey, let's try this one, okay? All right, let's try the next one. Yep, 12 over 30. Okay, I'll do that. First layer of cake. You're right, put the candles up, 12 and 30. What's next? Yep, divide it. What do you want to divide it by? Okay, we can start with the easy ones, two, because they're both divisible by two. They're both even numbers. So 12 divided by two is six, and 30 divided by two is 15. Okay, so I have a six and a 15. What can that be divided by? Think about your divisibility rule. Yes, six is divisible by three and 15, just like you said, you add the digits and if they're divisible by three, then there you go. So 15, one plus five is six. So we know that, so let's do it by three. Six divided by three is two. 15 divided by three is five. Yep. So your answer is two over five. Very good. You guys are getting this pretty good. Maritza, this next one is for you. Come on, Maritza. I know you can do it. Let's try it together. All right, you have the last question of the day. So let's see what we can do together. What's the first step? Build your first layer of cake. What's the second step? Put the candles on, 30, 55. What's the next step? Yeah, we have to find out what they're divisible by. They have to be divisible by the same number in order to reduce it. So take a look, you have 30 and you have 55. If we did our divisibility rules, we know that 30 ends with a zero and 55 ends with a five. If they end with a zero or a five, we know they're divisible by, yup, five. So let's do that. So 30 divided by five is six, yup. And 55 divided by five. So five times what gives you 50? You're right, 11. Wow, that was quick. Good job. So can we divide these by anything else? Let's check. Are they both even? No, one is even and one is odd. Therefore, they can't be divisible by two. So let's take a look at three. Is six divisible by three? Yeah. How about 11? Okay, so if you don't know then use your divisibility rules. One plus one is two. Two is not divisible by three. So therefore, you can't do a three. How about four? Four and a six doesn't go in equal. Five and a six doesn't go in equal. Six and a six goes equal, but six does not go into 11. So therefore, what we know is that we cannot reduce this anything anymore, the six and the 11. 
So if we can't reduce it, then what do we... Yes. No, you can't. You can't go 6 divided by 6 and 11 divided by 6. It doesn't work. Yeah, that's it. No, I know it was simple, but that's that's how you do it. So you can't can't reduce these anymore. So now our final answer is 6 over 11. Very nice. I know some of this is complicated, but we've done it in the past. I think it should be coming quickly to you. And if it's not, then we're going to have to continue. So good job. So there you have it. An easy lesson today. Not Nothing that's going to really blow your mind, uh, but... That was pretty good. You guys are doing a really good job. I want you to keep working hard. I want you to keep checking on the Google Classroom. Make sure you get all your assignments done. You know what? I'm hearing that some of this is going to be used for grades. So we don't want to mess around, right? We got all day to get some stuff done. So let's do it. Every day we should be doing at least the math lessons and working on the rest of it. Until tomorrow, have a good day.